What is up, guys? Thank you for checking out another Guido stacking video. I really appreciate that. If you want more videos on precious metals, make sure you hit that notification bell, you subscribe, and you like the video. Um, actually, in this video, this is a video I should have done a really long time ago, to be honest with you guys. Um, I should be keeping up with this stuff and uh, letting you guys know of trends. I've been saying it during my auctions, but I haven't made any content about it. And that is of the Spanish bullion coins. They are massive sleeper coins. Mark my words, guys. I'm telling you now, they are massive sleeper coins. I've been saying it for a long time, but now that I'm actually making a video to put it out there, I'm telling you from right now. And this isn't, um, you know, this isn't really information that is like, oh, super top secret. It's pretty obvious why these are going to be very popular coins in the near future. Um, a lot of the, you know, guys that have been doing this for a while, I'm sure feel the same way as I do. Don't think I'm some kind of coin genius when these coins become uh, $4,000 coins. No, I'm just kidding. But they will appreciate. I guarantee you that the Lynx has already started and the Toros have just now started hitting the states. So as you guys know, my last video, uh, actually I don't know if it was my last last video, but um, I mentioned the fact that I was in Spain and that's actually where I got uh, two of those links in Spain and um, they did not have the Toros. We're in October and they did not have the Toros. Extremely low mintage for a bullion coin, guys, it is a no-brainer that these coins will appreciate. It's almost impossible that they will not appreciate. There's just too many things going, you know, going for these coins. First off, I'm going to grab the links. Let's talk about the links. So the first thing is the reverse proof finish. This is standard. This is not a special edition. This is how the coins come. And, uh, you know, even though the camera, I'm not showing this coin as good as I should be, but when you get these coins in your hand, they really, really, really are amazing coins. And uh, I'm sure that the camera's not doing it justice. If you were to see these coins in hand, it's a completely different um, look. They are amazing, amazing coins, gorgeous coins, reverse proof finish, automatically extremely popular now the Lynx had a 12,000 mintage they have raised that mintage to 15,000 on the Toros that's nothing 3,000 more coins big deal it's really nothing guys this is um, a European gold coin and there's only 15,000 of them Another thing that's going to make this series popular, I'm curious to see where they go from here. Um, they no longer have the links. They have changed it. It is now a bull, a.k.a. the Toro. So um, really cool, this whole thing that they're starting to do. And most likely, if they've already raised the mintage, they're only going to raise the mintage if it's a, it's a massive success. And obviously, that is what happened. They've done it already only after the first release so um you can just imagine how many they're going to start minting of these coins who knows it's only three thousand this time around who knows after the toro it could be another five thousand maybe another ten thousand and all of a sudden the mintage is going to start growing more and more and more which is going to make these first releases insanely expensive and insanely hard to get another thing is i've had about 14 of these links the one ounce links in my possession at some point. And of those 14, I would say about four or five of them were not minted very nice. So the mat, they've had issues with the mat finish in the background. Uh, looks like almost like a scuffing. Um, and they've had uh, issues with the strike itself. You can see that the links um, kind of has like a blurred look to it on certain coins, which is making the PF70 versions. Um, expensive because there's not going to be that many 70s, especially only out of 12,000 uh, 12, coins. Then they release the one tenth ounce. Now they're doing 50,000 starting of the one tenth ounce links. 
who knows what they're going to do for the Toro. I don't know if they're going to keep it at 50 or they're going to raise it. I'm not sure. But uh, the time betwe between production and by the time the coins actually get here is, I mean, it's really severely delayed. Like, we're in October and the dealers are just now starting to get the Toros. And when I was in Spain, they did not even have them. So massive lax production and distribution going on with these coins, which is only going to add to the hype. I've seen the links going uh, between anywhere between 2100 and 2500 Lately, they've been a little bit lower, especially because gold has been taking a beating lately. But um, I have not seen any dealers with any of them for sale for a little while now. So once they're out, they're going to go up in price big time on the secondary market. The PF70s are already at 2600 plus. So let's see what happens with those old links. And that's why I apologize for not making the video sooner because the bandwagon's already gone for the links. But you have a chance with the Toro, which is the second release and the first release where they've added a security feature right there and a nice one. So that is the logo for the Madrid Mint. Right there, Madrid, the logo for Madrid. Then if you move it around, uh, right there, you can see it. There's a little star. And if you move it further, it's actually got three different holograms. And it might be impossible for me to get it on camera, the third one, which is the sign of the euro. And, yep, I can't get it. It's like right there. So anyways, it's got three separate holograms right there. That is not... Um, on the links coin so that's a new feature that they added for the toro this year so but yes once again they are sticking with the reverse proof it's a gorgeous coin you can see lots of details on the coin i'm doing a terrible job of showing you guys but uh reverse proof coins are pretty hard to show not gonna lie if you really want to see it i'll try and do a little cinematic ending for you guys on this coin but there you go you get an idea at least so um super super nice coins super low mintage and um i mean i just don't see how you can go wrong with these coins man i really wanted to show you guys that last symbol but not happening so anyways there it is there is the toro i'm telling you right now guys i've been preaching it in my auctions about the links that these are going to be hot, super hot coins, uh, sleeper coins, um, which I think a little, a lot of people have starting to wake up already with the links. But um, when you get a chance, pick up a Toro, pick up a one tenth ounce links. Fifty thousand is not a lot for the small fractional one tenth ounce gold. And uh, whenever you see the one tenth ounce gold for the Toro, I would do the same. And it's going to be interesting to see if they've announced or you know, said how many they're going to mint of the one tenth ounce Toro. So, um, anyways, guys, that is my sleeper pick that is going on right now. And I just want to mention, it's not bragging, just want to mention, two years before the Libertad bang, I called the Libertad bang. You don't believe me? Watch the video, go through my videos, and you'll see it. This is going to be the next bang i'm telling you all it's gonna take is for them to decide to put out some silver too i'm telling you i called it i called it if they start making some silver coins they're gonna be massive as well all right guys thank you so much and uh like i said if you enjoyed this video if you want more videos on precious metals and beautiful shiny things make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys later.